Hello, this is uh, Beeblogs, just with a quick tutorial video. Um, I don't know whether you've heard of it, but there's a program called Discovery, which I have downloaded, and then I wanted to delete it, and I wasn't quite sure how to do it, so this is just a quick uh, video to show you how to delete it. I have found a glitch with Discovery, which happens when you're in full screen mode. I have opened up pages to a new document, and when I click up the top here for anything and unclick it, it goes black. All you have to do is hit escape, and then it will pop up like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of download it off um, Mac Update, and um, yeah, you can download the full version, but that'll cost a bit. Um, so yeah, how long has it got to download? Oh, so a couple of seconds. Um, I don't know why it is so slow, but yeah. So once it's finished downloading, you'll um, just open it in Finder, and here it is. It's a little um, PKG file, and then yep, continue, continue, agree, install for all users. Yep, install. Okay, so that's my password. Yep, what? sometimes get my password wrong. And there we go, okay, so now it is officially installed. Oh, whoopsie. That's not supposed to be there. Anyway, um, you can't see it quite now, but yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and open it. Discovery. Nope. I don't want to sign up. Alright, so let's try. Okay, and so I need to delete it. As you can see, it's still on. And, um, yeah, so I'll go to Applications, what the heck, let's quickly clean up that, and, um, where is it, here, Discovery. Now, as you can see, it's open, so I'll quit it, and, yeah, it should be able to work in Apps Apper. We'll try it, oops, there, hooray, it's working, then we just want to tap it and voila. That is how you delete it. Okay, now, as you'll notice, it's already finished. I'll just go ahead and reinstall the app, just so I can show you, um, if you have made it invisible, how to completely delete it. Because, yeah, it can get a bit confusing. And, um, yeah. So if you have installed it and made it completely invisible, like, so, uh, let's see, discovery, um, yeah, up the top here, if you go preferences, and then go don't show in dock, and don't show on the menu bar, then click exit, and then it'll probably disappear sometime soon if I quit it and then reopen it, it might disappear, don't check, there we go, so it's not at the top and not on the side. Now there is only one way to delete this, uh, I have tried all the ways. So if you go to Applications, Open App Zapper, here. Now if you drag Discovery up into there, it won't work, because it's open. And we can't close it, because we can't find it. So basically what you need to do is get a thing called App Cleaner. App Cleaner is basically the same thing as App Zapper. And, um, yeah, if you open it up and drag App Zephyr into there, oh, well, not App Zephyr, Discovery, actually, um, and you click Delete, it'll delete it, but it won't delete everything. So what you'll need to do is go into Macintosh HD, go, or whatever you have it called as, go to Library, and Scripting Editions. Now this will be it, so Command Delete, and then Delete it empty. Now you notice that it was, that it most, oh, it's still wobbly. Now all you need to do now is restart it and I will start the video again once I've restarted my computer. Now I have restarted my computer and we'll check whether it is still on. And no, Discovery has stopped working which is a good sign. Okay, so that has been my tutorial video of how to, um, uh, yeah, sort of fully in uninstall Discovery if you have it hidden. Thanks for watching.